Number eight, when rubidium ions are heated to a high temperature, two lines are observed in its line spectra at wavelengths A, 7.9 times 10 to the negative seventh meters, and B, 4.2 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. What are the frequencies of these two lines, and what color do we see when we heat a rubidium compound? Okie dokie. So I see that we have A and B here, so I'm just going to label this side A and this side B, and then I'll draw a line between them just so I give myself some room. All right, so for A, they're telling us that we have a wavelength of 7.9 times 10 to the negative seventh meters, and they're looking for the frequency. So what's that formula between wavelength and frequency? Oh, it's C equals wavelength times frequency. So let's plug it in. We should know that C is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, right? So let's just plug it in. 2.998 times 10 to the eighth equals wavelength, which is 7.9 times 10 to the negative seventh times V. Divide by 7.9 times 10 to the negative seventh on both sides, and that will give you your frequency. So this cancels out. And now calculator time. 2.998 times 10 to the eighth divided by 7.9 times 10 to the negative seventh. So this would be 3.8 times 10 to the 14th, and that's per second. So seconds to the minus one, or if you want to say Hertz HZ, that's fine too. And that's the frequency for the first one. So now let's do the same thing for the second one. They told us that we had a wavelength of 4.2 times 10 to the negative seventh meters, and we want to find the frequency. So we're going to use the same formula. C equals the speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. 2.998 times 10 to the eighth equals 4.2 times 10 to the negative seventh, and then times that by the frequency. You want to solve for frequency, so we'll divide by 4.2 times 10 to the negative seventh, 4.2 times 10 to the negative seventh, and that will cancel. So frequency is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth divided by 4.2 times 10 to the negative seventh, and you get 7.1 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So you could write it as HZ, or you could write per second, so seconds to the minus one. And that's equals your frequency for that one. Okay, so that answers this question, but now we gotta find the color. Now the diagram that they showed you in your textbook is according by angstroms. An angstrom is a type of distance. So the color that you have to, that we're going to find out what it is, will be according with the wavelength, because wavelength is also a distance. But now, how do we go from meters, which is what they gave us on both A and B, to angstroms? Well, in order to go from meters to angstroms, here's the... the the quick way. In order to go from meters to angstroms, all you got to do is times by 10 to the 10th. If you want to go backwards, if you have angstroms and you want to go to meters, you would divide by 10 to the 10th. So all I have to do is take these two wavelengths for A and B and just times them by 10 to the 10th and then just look at them on the line spectrum. So let's do that. So for A, I'm gonna take the 7.9 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. And all you gotta do is just times by 10 to the 10th. And I'll do that for B as well. 4.2 times 10 to the negative seventh meters times 10 to the 10th. And that's the quick way of converting. So for the top one for A, 7.9 times 10 to the negative seventh times 10 to the 10th, you get 79 100 angstroms, and then for B, you get 4,200 angstroms. Now we just have to 
spot out where these two would fall on your line spectra. So let's look at the top one first. 7,900. Well, here is 7,000. So 7,900 would be way over here, right? So this would be basically red, right? Because it's falling in the red category. Now for B, 4,200, that's basically between 4,000 to 5,000. This is 45. Hundred, so maybe somewhere around here. So this would be basically, if I do it a different color, this would be kind of like a violet to a deep, deep, deep blue. So what color would you see here? Violet to that deep blue. And there you go. So... That's it for this one, just basically converting wavelength to frequency and then knowing how to use the color chart, the line spectrum. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button, tell us down in the comments, and if you want to be the first to know when we release our next batch of questions, hit the subscribe button. And that will also help so many people from all over the world be able to gain access to this cool service. I think it's pretty cool, right? What do you guys think? I think it is. But anyway. Have an awesome day, guys. Let's keep going. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.